There's a saying that the wheels of justice turn slowly, and that is the case for the Aguirre family. They've already waited nearly 28 years for closure. Now they'll have to wait even longer. Michael Spider Gonzalez will not be put to death next week. We've reported this all day today. He's convicted for the brutal stabbing deaths of Manuel and Merced Aguirre. His stay of execution was granted earlier this evening. On Monday, Spider's defense filed an application to withdraw next week's execution, giving four claims to back it up. The court approved two of them today. First, Gonzalez's team says that he is intellectually disabled and could not constitutionally be executed. Now, the second claim is that the state suppressed or did not disclose all of the evidence. That was enough to halt next week's execution. And it is just the latest twist in this near three decade long case. Gonzalez was originally convicted of the Aguirre murders in 1995. There have been a number of appeals filed in the case over the past two decades, and this now makes the second stay of execution granted for Gonzalez. And while Spider will sit on death row even longer, let's take a moment and focus on the family of Manuel and Merced Aguirre. They've been living on this nightmare of a legal ride for a long time. Today's order means that they'll have to wait even longer for justice. You know, we, we've spent a lot of time this week and frankly, a lot of time the past two decades talking about Spider. He's on death row and that's where he's gonna stay for the foreseeable future. Though we cannot forget the reason why he is there, Manuel and Merced Aguirre. Their family, they have waited a very long time and now they're gonna have to wait even longer for justice to be served. Tonight, they're disappointed and tired. Jonathan Palasik spoke with their son. Jonathan, a very frustrating day for the family. Tatum, today's decision was not entirely unexpected. All the Aguirre family wants is closure. Now, they were five days away from it, and tonight they can't help but wonder if they will ever get the justice that their parents deserve. And I want him to see us, uh, to see us at his execution. Rick Aguirre was ready to face the man who killed his parents in the execution chamber. But tonight, who knows when it will happen. We're disappointed, upset oh, oh, over the state of execution. It's, we're six weeks away from it being 28 years since they were murdered. And it doesn't seem like we're ever going to get justice for our parents. I've gotten texts and phone calls from friends and family members throughout Texas now that, that have heard it um, and the, everyone is upset. He says it's just the latest effort to push off an execution. I do believe it's their tactic to stall as much as they can. And uh, I mean, for I mean, he's gotten so many appeals, so, so, so many court hearings, everything that by now everything has been covered. And I think it's just his attempt to try and install even more. Half a dozen appeals and now two stays of executions granted. Working towards justice has been a long, winding road with seemingly no end in sight. We know it, it will probably take a while. Uh, we're hoping that it doesn't take as long as, as the other one did, that it'll just be a matter of months would be ideal uh, that I don't know. We're tired of going through this. As a family, we would like for it to be over with. Uh, and we've, we've, we've gone through the whole process and still time after time we are disappointed. Uh, it's, to me, it seems that Michael is given more emphasis than the victims, which were our, our parents, like they're pushed to the side. Not tonight. Tonight, Manuel and Merced Aguirre are front and center. A beautiful couple unfairly taken from this world and their family forced to wait even longer. So what does this all mean in the grand scheme of things? Well, for starters, Gonzalez will remain on death row and his conviction still stands. We'll continue to provide updates on this case as we learn more. Tatum.